Yeah. 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 Can I ball for a minute? Ride on. I got this. Let it roll like a night storm. Forever winning. Don't you ever get in my way. Cause otherwise I'ma rise up in your face. Teamwork head first. With my feet in the dirt. Extreme thirst. Feel the surge of adrenaline burst. My knees hurt. Please nurse. Let the medicine work. So I can get a damn bit professionally superb. I won't stop till I'm certified. Won't stop till I'm first to rise. I'm on top getting first prize. Gold medal. Get a running ahead of you each time. Can I ball for a minute? Let's go. I got this. Let it burn like some petrol. I'm getting W. So don't you ever doubt this. Cause otherwise I put my money where your mouth is You heard right that the earth is mine Burn bright, let the ember shine You know I'm gonna get it every time Champion, wearing the crown I can see my name in lights Spark from the heart and it shines so bright Yeah, let the whole world know Let's go, let's go, let's go I can see my name in lights Fall till I fall and I'm feeling alright Yeah, so let the whole world know Let's go, let's go, let's go What's up, fellas? How you doing out there? Knuckle Up Podcast coming at you. Looks like it's going to be a lonely night for Philly J here. Uh, we got already Brian, uh, Brandon Parrish and Brian uh, Red Rooms. Maxwell in the house. Uh, Clay is under the weather a little bit, so he's not going to be here. Juan's got a uh, a family issue going on, emergency. And uh, Sean has uh, got some family issues also with about 14 kids or so running around the house. Uh, anyway, so... Let's get right into it. If you're here, then that means you like to see my pretty face too. Uh, one topic number one. Oh, by the way, we'll have. A, um, I hope you had a good weekend, everybody. Um, not a whole lot of not bare knuckle fights over the weekend, but there were some uh, UFC fights we got to see them. Anyway, topic number one, and this has been in our posts. Uh, you've seen a post about it. You've seen some interesting, I guess, perspectives on it. Johnny Bedford. Is he holding the bantamweight title hostage? What's up, John Hall? Uh, well, it depends. If you ask Clay, then he has another year and a half, two years before he has to give up the title. Um, if you ask the rest of the world, I think uh, I think they'll, they'll beg to differ. Here's the here's the th- here's my personal perspective. I think you've heard me say it before. It's not necessarily the fighter's fault if they get hurt, but at the same time, a lot of fighters don't recover from certain injuries. And they may not be that champion level that they were before. And after, you know, a year, I mean, you really have to let the division move on, in my opinion. 12 months, you might be able to talk me into 18 months if it's like a double injury, maybe. But even though, even said, um, I'm not, you know, there should at least be an interim title. And then the champion should have to fight that person when he comes back from from injuries. But three years is ridiculous. Clay's an idiot. Um what do you guys think in the, in the comments? How, how long do you think a, a champion should be able to sit out on the sidelines, injury or, or otherwise, before they have to, to relinquish the belt and let somebody else uh, fight for it? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Speaking of Johnny Bedford, there's rumor has it that he's going to be fighting that win again. That's a rumor. Nothing confirmed yet. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, why is he fighting that and not Reggie, who's the interim champion? You remember if you remember the first fight that and uh, Red, and uh, between Jet and Johnny, it was maybe an all-out war. Um, that got the nod at the end of it. Then he moved up and fought somebody in a different division. Uh, Johnny regained the belt. Uh, he got injured. He's been out for like over a year now. And then Reggie fought Kid Gotti for the interim title. I think we had that. Hey, Brittany, what's up? Uh, Ooh, here's an idea. Strip, strip, and with Reggie, strip and unify in a tournament. For 14 months is plenty of time. I'm not sure exactly how that got, got a little lost in there. Hey, oh, all right, Brittany, don't give me too much shit. It's just me tonight. Maybe I'll bring Brittany in. Who knows? See what she has to say. Uh, so, Johnny Bedford, should he be fighting that? Or should he be fighting Reggie? Now he's already fought Reggie twice, and a lot of people pointed out he's already you know beat Reggie twice. But that was a while back, and you know Reggie, I think a lot of people believe he's improved since then. Completely dominated the fight with Kid Gotti. Uh, Kid Gotti's are you know one of our favorite favorite uh, folks around here. But uh, it is what it is. He got dominated by Reggie. Reggie looked probably better than in any fight I've ever seen him. Um, so maybe a a trilogy fight, even though he's lost the first two, uh, maybe a trilogy fight is in order. 
unfortunately Reggie right now has has an, already has a fight. Uh, not even for not for the interim title, not for anything but just another fight, I guess. So uh yeah. So that's gonna be on hold for a while. But uh if Johnny does fight that in the rematch, the winner of that, I, I mean you, you really have to the winner of that has to fight Reggie for the for the title to unify the title at that point. Brian Maxwell says Dash should fight Reggie after he wins next weekend. Oh shit. Uh yeah, there's the there's the um Reggie's fight. Um I'm not a big fan of fighting. Like if you're a champion holding even if it's an interim title, I'm not a big fan of fighting non title fights in your weight class. Um that's just I I don't know. It's just I don't know. Whatever. I mean something you gotta get paid though, so it's either that or wait wait out for you know forever to fight the next guy. So I'm not gonna poop on him. Um let's see. Brandon says uh drop big money in Nate's lap <laughs> versus Reggie. There we go. Uh, strip and unify re with Reggie. Hmm. Now here, personally, I think Bedford should be stripped of the of the belt if he, you know, if it's been, you know, that long. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, it's not that, but it's, the thing is, I'm not, we're not punishing. I'm not trying to punish the fighter. It's just the way it is. It just sucks for him that he's been injured. I mean, you can't, like I said, what what if he gets injured again? Do you wait another six months? Another twelve months? And no, that's just that's just silly. Otherwise, then you not only is it do the fighters a disservice who are fighting actively fighting um, and trying to earn that title shot, but it does the fans a disservice. I mean, how many fans want to just like never watch title fights? If you did that with every weight division and you had a bunch of injuries, you'd never have title fights. What kind of headlining cards would you have then? Anyway, just my opinion. Um, I personally think. I'd like to see the Dat Johnny rematch. It's personally, because I, I think the first fight was great. I think it was could have went either way. Um, you know what? Let's bring Brittany in and see what she has to say. Hey, there she is. Hey, what's going on? And I appreciate the fact that she's not in a car with the lights down, so we can't see her face or can't hear a word she's saying. Like some of the people you know, we bring on. Listen, so I appreciate probably, that. Y'all probably don't even want to see my face. Let's just be real. <laughs> I'm working with this, so. There you go. <laughs> Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Uh oh, slaughterhouse in the house. <clears throat> What's up, slaughterhouse? Ryan Perez is training killers uh -oh. out he there. He ducks Jaron lame. Ooh. Um. So, what do you think? What do you think about Johnny Bedford, or in general, how long should somebody be able to hold a title without fighting? You know, Sean Ulrich said it best, and I hate. Oh God! To Get say off my that. show! <laughs> I hate <laughs> to say that, but I feel like a year. If you don't defend your title within the year and or have the a match to defend within that 18 month span you should be stripped there's a lot of athletes out there who are putting in the time and the effort and how many times are we going to have an interim you know what i mean an interim title holder defend an interim title like it just doesn't make sense you know um so no i feel like a and mind you this is just rumor this is just rumor and I I know nothing of certain, but I have heard through. <laughs> Fuck you, Sean. Sean. That was from me. Sean just regurgitated what I told him, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> finish um, your thought. Sorry. Um, I you know, word on the street was you know when he had his bout with Kid Gotti that that got canceled because of a back injury. Word on the street and through the bare knuckle community was that he never went to the approved BKFC doctors for that. He never provided proper documentation. Now, I hope I am wrong. Um, but either way, he's held that title hostage way too long. Reg yes, he has fought Reggie more than once. Yes, he's beat Reggie more than once. But that doesn't mean that Reggie hasn't evolved. And Yeah, I agree with that you know what I mean, can come yeah. back and, and make a, a bigger, better stance than what he's shown in the past. I definitely think Wesley. that fight needs a trilogy. 11 months and three weeks before being stripped. Right, Thanks for watching, I agree with. Hey, go back, go back, Sean, go back to um, uh, Ryan's comment. That is actually how I feel about it. The oh, problem gosh. with that is Reggie already has a fight. So, you know, I mean, who's Johnny going to fight? I, I don't know. And I don't want to see another dat rematch. Like, 
Dat hasn't fought in how long again? Well, in that weight division, weight class, it's been about a year and a half, two years. Right, exactly. So, like, let some of these other guys have their opportunity. I think Jared deserves his opportunity. Yes, Reggie beat Jared. Now, don't get me wrong. I uh, 100 agree on all of those calls. <clears throat> but I feel like Jared, you know, Reggie and Jared are next in line, not Dat. What about what about Jared versus Dat? Uh, Dat? I mean that you know that could be a good time filler. <laughs> I'll bring Glenn. Who the fuck said that? You Sorry. know, it, it's it's just a good time Sorry, filler at you. that point. You know. Well, so I must say though, yeah, Dad has a fun the weight class, but I have yet yeah. to be bored with the Dad fight. I mean, he did move up to fight Palomino. Moved up to like, two weight classes to fight Palomino. Um, the guy is. He puts it all out there, so I I always enjoy watching him win, lose, or draw. Uh, so I I just want to see that fight somebody personally. Absolutely, uh, yeah, but I do agree. I, I agree. Sorry, I no, do agree I, with uh, Maxwell about freeing up the division, though. Like I mentioned before, um, I guess it depends. I mean, Reggie, if, if here's the thing, I really don't like that fight that Reggie's in now because he has really nothing to gain and everything to lose. I agree. Even though the title's not on the line, if I he agree. loses that fight. Nobody's gonna want to see him fight Bedford or Dat uh -huh. right yeah. after that. I don't I think agree. he's gonna lose that fight. Don't get me wrong, but if he did for some reason, or if he got hurt, you know, really bad. You know, got to you know how many times have we seen people get broken eye sockets and stuff? Um, I don't know. I just think I just think that's a bad fight. I just don't think get Reggie gains anything from that fight. I, I'd I'd rather see him fight Bedford again, or even fight Dat rather than than that fight. But we'll I see agree. what happens. No, I again, again, the dad fight is still just a rumor at this right. point. And, and I mean, I, I don't blame Reggie for taking the fight and wanting to stay active. Don't get me wrong there either. Yeah. You know what I mean? These fighters want to be active. They want to eat. They're hungry. So making yeah. them sit for, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months is it's mind blowing to me. It's mind blowing. Yeah. So I really hope all these athletes are putting in their contract that they can box and do MMA elsewhere outside of bare knuckle. Um, if well, they look are at um, Jared. Fight deals. Jared just pointed out. He said, or um, sorry, not Jared. Where? Um, uh, Perez just said uh, Jared's looking to fight at one forty five because he can't get a fight at one thirty five. I'm hoping. I'm guessing he's he's uh, his eyes is is good to go. Uh, let us know. Throw, throw it in the comment there. Uh, yeah, Ryan, let if, us know if, that his eye is okay. I mean, I follow him on social media. Yeah. I don't try to get pers too personal with some of these guys, but um, I've seen he did have his baby, and the baby's Ooh, growing congrats. and healthy. So congratulations to Jared uh, on his, you know, his newest little man. Um, but I, I'd want to see Jared fight. I'd love to see Jared and Dap fight. I think that way makes a lot of sense. But again, is just a card filler for time like if that's going to be an interim fight then make that an interim fight but i don't know I, it's, who's, it's, who's facebook user who is that i think it's um oh. zion is what i saw earlier i well, think he's usually yeah, in as himself. Oh, is he on facebook jail again probably mm, that makes <laughs> sense uh, um yeah i agree i mean i think that would be a great fight that would be a great featured fight or co-main to me to me because i think that could be a really exciting fight and the winner of that actually gains a lot of I don't know street cred as far, you know uh, as far as like the next uh, you know where they're at in line for the for the next title shot. Um, Agreed. <laughs> no, I'm a free man. <laughs> I wonder why uh, it's not showing his face then. I don't know. He usually shows him, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you mentioned that not you know people people not being able to get a fight like Misfit, for example. I'm sorry, I'm trying to glitch a little bit there, but uh, Misfit's another example. I mean, but. Who is she going to fight? And I, I saw the uh, Beck trying to call her out, which I right. thought was a little bit funny. I mean, I, I, saying I, that uh, she's not afraid of her and that, uh, you know, Helen Peralta smashed her, which Helen Peralta beat her, but that was a good fight. She knocked Peralta down. That was a great fight. Yeah. Um, and Beck, if Beck couldn't even beat Britain in a decision, why does she think she can uh, finish Misfit? That That's just she's silly. It is. It's very silly, and I think Misfit deserves somebody way better than than Beck. Like, I'm not trying to knock on Beck. She's a phenomenal athlete. I am not an athlete. I've never, ever claimed to be. I can't do what these people do, nor do I want to, 
All right, Brian, as Brian Perez as has a question for you too, by the way. Skill level, I don't yeah, well, think. Who does she fight there. then? Who does she fight? Who does she think she fight? Who does uh, Misfit fight? Before you answer his question, before you answer his question, who does Misfit fight? Who is um, there? You know, honestly, there really isn't anybody other than Helen Peralta. I really feel like, A, the fans want that fight ran back. Um, and B, I think Misfit deserves that win back. I don't see any other. Mi well, Helen Peralta is the only person who has ever beat Misfit in Bear She's Knuckle, been talking correct? online. Yeah, she's been talking online, but there's no guarantee that she's actually going to come back. I think if they, if, if they offer her back, I think she should take the fight just to have a fight, just to stay active. And I think the Peralta fight, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But I don't think she can uh, wait around another year for another fight. No, hell no. Nor should she have to. Yeah. What I would love to see <clears throat> in my, if the fight gods are listening to me right now, I would love to see Misfit defend by, you know, end of November, early December. And then I would love to see her headline as the main event, not this coming or feature bullshit that they do for the women, but as a main fucking event with Helen Peralta for Knuckle Mania 3. It makes yep. perfect sense. Let her defend the, against Beck. That'll be a. I don't think it'll be an easy win, but it'll it'll be done by the third round. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not going to be a first round forty second or like, you know, her last one was. But I definitely see it being over in the second and third round. Hey, let me ask you a question. This is going to come. Brian, so you saw the you saw the Pit, Crystal Pittman fight, right? Her last fight. Yeah, I was there live. Courtney. What do you think about Courtney? Instead of Beck. For Misfit? I'm not saying she's going to win. <laughs> I'm not going to say she's going to win, but she's she's a little bit bigger. She can take a punch. Listen, All right, how about this? Listen, okay, listen, if, listen, since you're laughing up, so hard, on, on, what about out, Courtney versus out. Beck? Time out. Okay, there you go. So, and I'm not trying to laugh or hate on Courtney by any means, but that, that Phil, come on. I'm not saying she's going to win. I just think. Piss it in your hand with wishes. I just, here, I'm okay? just throwing that, throwing things out there. I, I know. Do you, who do you think would do better against you, Misfit, Beck or Courtney? I think Courtney needs a few more fights yeah. under her belt before she gets a title shot. I agree shot. with that. A, I agree with that. B, Misfit holds the 125 pound title, not one of 45, not right. 135, 145, or 125. And Courtney does not want to drop down to 125 unless the money is right. Courtney and I are homies. I chat with her on a fairly regular basis. That's what I she like to see. She used to live right in my. That's oh, what I want that, to see. That, I think, could be a dope fight. But again, I want I to think... see. They, uh, a, no, there is not a single fighter on the roster who I feel like is a ready or B deserving of misfit with only one or two fights under there. I agree with that. But <laughs> problem is then you just have then she sits on the sideline. So then fight these fucking girls, man. Like why <laughs> have we not seen Jade out there again? Jade Mason Jean. That's a good question. Have, you know what I mean? However you fancy you want to say her Ooh, name. Jade Mason nah, Long I think needs misfit. a fight out there. I love Pink uh, Tyson, but uh, Ryan, but I think Misfit um I think Misfit wins that fight oh, yeah, pretty pretty beats, soundly. I think she beats Pink Tyson, too. Here's what I'd like uh, to see, Brittany. Tell me if you don't agree. I know you're going to agree because I can see it in your eyes. They need to have an all-female card. They need to have an all-female card, listen. get these girls some fights under their belts, get some experience, and then the next two cards have half the female, half the card females. Get, get these girls some fights. You know... I've been saying that since I first started <laughs> hanging out with you guys back in 20... Whatever. 20? 2019, Whatever the 2020. COVID, before the COVID. Uh, right. I've been saying that since the get-go. David Feldman himself has even said it. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do an all-female tournament. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, you did happen. not. That was like no, you two did years not. Ago. That was never going to happen. It, would, it was all talk. I would love for an all-female card. I will say, though... I believe BYB will pull that off before the BKFC ever does. The That's BYB possible. Only for, the incredible only... matchmakers over there. I just and don't know if they have, have enough. I don't know they if they have, have enough female fighters. But they have the female coordinator on their yeah. side who is, is making miracles happen. Shout out to Jules. Division. The fact that Jules and Mike and Mel got the women, not just one woman fight in England, but two and a title 
in England for the first time ever, BKFC tried to do it. Out of all the fights to scrap, they scrapped the one female fight. They chose to not make history. Nah, that that was garbage in my mind. Uh, so I, I 100% see Mike, Mel, and Jules doing that before I ever see the BKFC doing that. They like to pump their big UFC, you know, rejects and retirees more than they want to pump their female division. And it's unfortunate. I would love to see Courtney Cameron and Taylor Starling if Courtney goes to 125. I would love to see Taylor Starling and Jade Mason Wong at 125. I would love to see any of these females be way more active, which speaking of, I got to throw out a little shout out. Taylor, I'm going to talk to you here in about I don't know, another 20 minutes on Brawl and Babes with Brittany. Uh, Misfit, who like pretty much hates me, is coming on Brawl and Babes with Brittany in the morning. And I'm going to let her asshole me, man. She fucking hates my guts. That so didn't sound right, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to let this girl shit all over me and then be like, all right, are we good now? Like, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> bro. Oh. And then I'm also talking to Josette Cotton this week. So a lot of females. Um, Pass on our congrats. Know, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was awesome. It was. So a lot of females getting on uh, the brawl and babes in the bare knuckle world. So I appreciate all that. Make sure you tune in and watch watch those interviews. And um, make sure you watch, watch that uh, Medina Juarez rematch. Oh, that yeah. is going to be sick. I can't wait. can't wait. I tried. I lined up a interpreter um, uh, <laughs> and, and a location. I have done ever Like, I was going to come out of pocket to pay this interpreter so That's I could funny. interview Patty Juarez. And it just didn't work out it just didn't work out right. but patty i want to talk to you all right um okay so let's talk oh yeah happy birthday big mo i keep forgetting speaking of byb happy birthday to big mo uh one of the best announcers in the game super nice guy he was the uh, treated us like gold when we were down in miami for the uh the uh doral byb event super super cool guy one of the best he announcers really there is. Is. yep Absolutely. He's the guy who got my feet, my feet wet in the ring announcing world. He was my sensei, my teacher, my, my, uh, you know what I mean? He gave, showed me a little bit of the ropes and just let me run with it. And now I'm honored to do the same for others. Um, so yeah, happy birthday, Big Mo, my fellow Scorpio. Next topic. Uh, everybody seems to be talking about Dada 5000's return to the, to the fight game in his, what well, would be his bare knuckle debut, I believe. Well, legitimate bare knuckle debut, I should say. Right. Not his, his street bare knuckle debut. Sanctioned bare knuckle. I guess that <laughs> stretch Strickland, uh, probably the most notorious shit talker, aside from Malo, of course. Uh there is in the interwebs. Um man. I I don't know. What do you think about this? So, so there's rumor has it there, I think there was an article um that was put out that said the fight was off because uh, Dad, I wasn't allowed to fight. Um, we did some digging, and I guess that's according to our sources uh, inside the BYB. Uh, that's that's not true. So, um, so yeah, so it looks like um, the Florida State Athletic Commission, uh, he's still suspended in Texas, technically, Correct. but uh, they've, he's gone through the safety protocols and like done the he's brain test, heart test, body test, all this other stuff. So, um, they're also trying to get the Texas suspension get get uh, to be lifted. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to need to need. I don't know if that's part of it. Is that hook, you know, or if they need to. But um, anyway, <laughs> Ryan, who passes out first, Matt or Donna? Uh, well, Matt. some people would say that Matt, uh, Matt Matt won't pass out, but he might uh, might be hit with a phantom punch or something. That's that's the word on the street. Um, tap now, out I, I have not even wrestling. I will happen to say I happened to watch Dada's fight, uh, last fight with uh, Kimbo Slice. Not the best fight I've ever seen. Um, Dada's super sweet, nice guy, super cool to us. Uh, I will say though, Dada looked in pretty decent shape the last time we saw him when he was in Miami. He looked like he had dropped some weight. He looked pretty, you know, he wasn't a skinny dude, but uh, but he's I mean he's a big guy anyway. But he looked. Looked a lot leaner than, than than we've seen him in the past, so uh, maybe he's I don't know, maybe he's in better shape. Definitely looks like he's better shape than uh, last time we saw him fight. Believe it or not, even though that was what 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, like but yeah, he looked in better shape the last time we talked to him. So I don't know. Uh, do I think he should be fighting again? 
Uh, he's a little up there in the years. <laughs> but um, Listen, hey, man, I, I'm not going to tell anybody what they can and cannot do. Right, exactly. So. I, you know, I don't believe that there's an age limit to fighting. If if it's an evenly matched fight, now, granted, you're not going to go out there and put, you know, uh, a 50 year old man against a 21 year old in his prime. Like that's obviously not evenly matched as far as endurance and stamina. But I feel like age is 100% just a number. Just because somebody is in their 40s or in their 50s or, you know, getting up there or getting too old to fight. No, no. If you are still healthy and training and active in your gym and sparring and, you know what I mean, doing what you can do, let them fight. You know well, what I'm saying? Like, let them I, fight. I semi-agree with you. I think there is, a, there is an age to where your bones do start getting... More, more brittle, brittle and, and so like i wouldn't want to see any to be honest with you i wouldn't want to see anybody in their 50s fighting bare knuckle really i mean even rand, you know mma guys and randy couture and those guys were fighting into their 40s they how even old, pretty much quit before they hear and got into the 50s i hear you how old is kane tomlinson uh a thousand and five no i'm okay. just kidding Tony Lopez is 49. Thank you. There's He's not 50 real, yet. There's some real killers out there who are up there in age. And yeah. and so I understand and I hear what you're saying. You know, when you're when you age, your bones get more brittle. So do have them do more rigorous medicals, a bone density test. If it's yeah. below a certain density number, sorry, you're no you're no longer safe to fight. You know what I mean? As I feel like as long as they are having these, you know, medical clearances, uh, mental as well as physical, then let them fight, man. This is, this is these athletes' whole lives. It's their whole life. They revolve their life around combat sports, around controlled, calculated violence. Let them fucking fight. If they want to fight till they're dead. Well, I agree with, I agree with the medical piece. If, if they can pass the medicals, I, I don't know. I don't think they're doing any kind of bone density test or anything like that. But I, I agree no, if they can pass they, the medical. They should. I'm not going to say they sh they can't. I'm just saying some. There sh I think there should be an age where you can kind of like, mm, okay. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. So according to our, like I said, our inside sources at BYB, the fight is on. It hasn't been canceled. Uh, and Donna has, you know, been medically cleared so yep, far. We're just, we're just uh, waiting we'll on Texas happens. to give the release. So hopefully yeah, so. we'll know, you know, by next week. -ish. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, who knows how long these each commission does their own thing, and uh, some of them are a little more uh, on their own time than others are. But uh, whatever. Okay. Um, I did have a couple of the topics I was going to talk about, but I think I'm going to wait for the rest of the, the gang to be around. We're going to talk about um, pound for pound picks. So. Uh, Oh, yeah. you guys out in the, in, the, in the audience, start thinking about that because we're going to make our announcements who we think current pound for pound best fighters are in bare knuckle, and uh, and maybe a discussion about possibly being bringing back the bare knuckle rankings, unofficial bare knuckle rankings. I wish you would the ones that are the official fucking blow. Sorry, I think they. I th I, rumor has it that they uh, they stopped doing it and they uh, fired the company, but I'm not sure that that's the rumor. Right, and I heard that same rumor, but who, whoever and whatever was doing it was not. Accurate. I think it was. I think it was great because it made everybody realize how much better our rankings were. That were giving us shit before that. It's true. People though. were giving us shit every day. We get shit from well, you know everybody's fighters should be ranked number one, blah blah. blah. But then when those rankings came out, everybody was like, "Oh my god, this is Bring how bad it can really podcasters. be." <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, we'll see what happens, but, um, I think that's all we got. We're going to do a shorter show tonight than normal. Uh, thanks well, Brittany for coming on. We appreciate it. The, yeah, uh, the, the bare knuckle, uh, assholes, self-proclaimed bare knuckle asshole. So, uh, she's always exciting and have fun on your show. Watch I what time's your show come on. Uh, here any minute. We were scheduled for 7.30, but she said she was running late. Um, so maybe closer to 8. Just stay tuned. Um, now, that's uh, uh, the, mountain time she's talking about. Yeah, mountain time. I'm sorry. I run on mountain time, so that's the time that I stay to the world. Um, so, yeah, about 7, somewhere between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, I'll be going live on the Brawlin' Babes with Brittany Facebook page and YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed and following both of those. I'm going live this evening. 
hopefully as long as nothing pops up and she has to cancel with Taylor Killaby Starling. She's putting the gloves back on. She wants to stay active and I'm super glad for her for that. What is this um, guy again? Damn it. Who's this chick? She has better books than that. <laughs> I don't think he meant books. Okay. No. Well, listen, hey. my, titties, my titties aren't out today. We'll have to and have a, no, I was going to say we're going to have to have a competition. No, listen, no, I, no, I no. was about to say your tits are probably bigger and better I'm than mine anyway. I'm not wearing my white t-shirt next time. But uh, <laughs> speaking of subscribe, yeah, don't forget to you know like us and subscribe us, subscribe to our YouTube and our Facebooks and all that. And uh, thanks again, Brittany, for coming on. And thank you guys to for watching. Um, Bond's going to start maybe giving away some free stuff to our top engagers. Uh, I know Mr. Red Rims wasn't on the list, but we know he's one of our best and oldest uh, fans on the, on the in the uh, on our podcast. Thanks for watching again. Uh, come see us next uh, next show. And until next time. The club. Yeah.